Yo, what is up people? Asia Boy Sneeman right here. I hope you guys had a fantastic day today. Okay, so back for some more career mode for you guys. Obviously on the MK Dons, we're in obviously the Premier League now, which is awesome. Can't wait to obviously see what we can do in the Premier League this season. Hopefully we can have a good first season. It's not gonna be easy, of course, um, as you will probably obviously uh, guess straight away. It is not gonna be easy at all, but we'll do what we can do. It might turn out right, you never know. Um, but yeah, so obviously in July, uh, we've done our group stage of the um, of the tournament of the International Cup that we've been playing. Obviously, like I said, the friendly sort of season opening, you know. Um, yeah, basically been doing that. So we're against Wolfsburg now, as you see there on the top left um, in the semi final. Yeah, semi finals, as it says there um, as well. Uh, so yeah, semi finals, Wolfsburg. Should be a good win, hopefully. Um, we have to play better than what we have been playing. Um, but yeah, so, you know, I mean, hopefully we can. But just to uh, dampen the mood a bit, of course, <laughs> last night, um, yeah, had a few problems actually. Someone actually hit my car. Yeah, believe it or not, someone actually hit my car. The side of my car made a huge, like, dent in it. Um, obviously, I'm going to be getting it fixed, of course. Um, shit happens, of course, as it always does. So, if I don't feel like myself today, then please understand why. <laughs> um, but yeah, there's not, mu not, mu not much else I can really say on that. Um, just thought I'd let you guys know. I'm not in a great mood, um, as that has you know, sort of dampened my mood, as it would do to probably anyone. Um, I was actually going to do a bit more Christmas shopping today, but no, I can't really do that. So, you know, um, but this video, whether this comes out before Christmas, I don't know. So if you're thinking, oh, Christmas shopping, you know, then uh, yeah, my apologies. Um, I've actually saved up videos, so this one, should be number 40 I think this is um, but you'll see that obviously in in time whenever it is but yeah I just thought I'd let you guys know that obviously someone has hit my, hit my car surprisingly it was actually some druggy people as well because uh, I did actually hear them do it I've never sprinted outside my house so flipping quick in my life um, but you know it is what it is um, but yeah so I'm going to leave it at that but yeah just thought I'd let you guys know that I'm not in exactly a great mood but I'm going to try and be and hope we can uh, do well on this and get some good results and buy someone maybe sell someone I don't know whatever just do what we can so enough of me blabbing on let's go over the first game Wolfsburg it is hopefully get a win sure all right good save oh man okay the second shot and literally it's like two minutes still are doing really well there to keep that out it's a great shot to be fair um, got play on the way but just couldn't block it, sadly. Like. Okay, we need to do better. Oh, go on. That's it. Oh, nearly penalty there. Well done. Great ball. Oh, I thought I was going to finish then, but great block. Oh, great save. Good shot from Sildero. And Tim Croy plays for Wolfsburg. Oh, <laughs> Tim Croy. I didn't know Tim Croy was playing for Wolfsburg, but that's a great hit, I've got to be honest. What a shot. It's a good save. Yeah, I won't take anything away from that. Oh, okay, won the Wolfsburg. You know, I don't know. I've not really got off the ground since joining the Premier League, actually. It's really weird. It's like I've only been early days in the Premier League, but I'm trying. Just defenders are not really there. I mean, I dragged him out, that centre back, my shirts. And then, I don't know, it's just simple tapping in it. It's as simple as that, really. Yeah, 1 0, we just have to come back in it. Go on. Dakar, oh, yes, great finish. What a ball from Van Bergen. To find Patson Dak with his first goal of this season um, in this competition, it is in the three games he played at least two of them, I think. Um, and that, that's a great finish. That's what I had from him last season, all of the season in the championship. Brilliant uh, striker. Um, he's the main reason why I you know, won, um, well, not won the league, but got promoted because of the important goals he got. But yeah, gets an important goal there. 1 1. Oh, you really? Oh my god, what is going on here? Wow. Wow. Uh, I don't think you, uh, I can't actually express how bad that was. That was bad FIFA in that one. <laughs> they just switched it from side to side. What the flip just happened? I don't know. And how has he scored there? Okay, that's just really weird. Carl's better. Alright, well, there you go then. We've lost. We're out of the cut. It is stupid though. Come on, you've got to be honest. Trying that goal, that second one especially. That's a rip off, that is. A rip off. That's like, that's like me saying I might have my money back for the game. Honestly, 
That's so bad, that goal. It's fake, it shouldn't be, it wouldn't even happen in real life. The way, why would you ping, you're in on goal, you ping the ball to the left side. It still worked, but... Wow, okay, well we're out of it, this is what it is, it just means we rest. For Man City, you know, <laughs> Community Shield, how are we going to win that, I don't know. Either way, I don't know what to say, I really don't. Okay, so FC Porto have shown interest in purchasing Gabriel Martinelli for a fee of £8.1 million. Pounds. Um... I might actually do that. I've actually I can see I've sold someone as well. My young left winger, uh, something Kerr, I can't remember his name. Uh, Martin and I have put up a transfer list um, only because I just don't rate him actually on this. I love the guy in real life. He's such a talented player. But I don't rate him on this to be honest. So I'm thinking about letting him go to FC Porto for eight point one million pounds. I might actually ask for more actually. I might try and get ten million for him. I think that's what I might do. Um, but yeah, so it is what it is. So let's see if I can get ten million anyways. Yeah, so nine million pounds. All right, so we have sold Gabriel Martinelli for nine million pounds. We managed to get eight hundred thousand pound more, um, or nine hundred thousand, sorry, more um, than what they asked. They asked, they offered eight point one. We originally asked ten million. I probably obviously wouldn't show you that because it's just, it's just a waste of a video, anyways. Um, but yeah, so ten million asked for, they wouldn't do it. So um, they then, I think they offered, I think it was, they no, they stayed with eight point one, and then they offered. I think a 3% sell-on clause, which is just stupid. 3% no. So, I, I was basically like, if you want him, right, I'm going to put 10% I want, 10% sell-on clause, and £9 million. Pounds. And so they didn't want the deal to fall through. They accept it. There you go. So we just have to get him to agree a contract to go to them. So, I mean, I lo honestly, I love Martin a in real life, but for some reason, he's not really lived up to what he is on this game, to be fair. Um, so I'm glad to let him go. I've got other players that can come through there, so it's all good and everything. Um, like I said, as much as I like him, but yeah, so there you go. Okay, so we've received uh, two offers, obviously it shows three there, but two offers for our two centre-backs, obviously uh, Regan Paul received an offer of one point, uh, £1.5 million pounds for him, which we're going to accept straight away because I don't need the guy anymore, so I'm glad he's going to be going finally. And then we've got also uh, George Williams, who looks to be going to America, to, is that, yeah, Toronto for... Eight hundred and sixteen thousand pounds as well, so I'm happy just to let them two go for that price. So I'm not going to negotiate or anything like that. So that's fine by me. We did have a loan offer for this young guy, this sixteen-year-old who's worth three and a half million pounds, which is crazy for a sixteen-year-old. But yeah, near development, of course, even more. And uh, but yeah, so it is all done. So that's good. We have got Man City obviously next as well. That's our next game. So let's get into that. So hopefully we can win that or do something at least. <laughs> Defensively and also defensively, the oh, will be what the goal the kits are not good either. Well, when I say goal kits, I mean clearances. Not good. It doesn't matter. We're with Van Bergen, and it's Pats and Dak. He's in. From that, from that to this, Pats and Dak are completely misses. But Sildero's there, and it is in. I thought a miss. It's Jose Maria Sildero with six minutes gone, and we've gone one 0 up against Manchester City in the Community Shield uh, final. And there you go. It's a great start. And uh, literally, if I showed you all anyways, right from the start, they on the attack, nearly conceded. And all of a sudden, went straight on the attack and then, and bam. Daka should have scored probably there, but there you go. And Sudera gets a rebound, and he's 1-0 against Man City. Daka! Oh, what a goal out of Bean! I thought it was bending in. Better performance, great one-two player there. And then look at that, that's bending in. Oh, it's just inches away. Ah. Oh, good play. Great stuff. Ed Enke Oh, ran too far that way. <laughs> Shit. Enketi's only got goal. Bergen 2 0. It is 2 0. Over Manchester City. In the Community Shield. I don't know why I can't beat Wolfsburg, but there you go. And it comes to Man City, and there you go. Van Bergen gets the second one. Again, it's another. Def well, not deflection, another save. Obviously, it was like the first goal where Dak had the shot and Edison saved it and it came back out to Sildero. But this time, it's Van Bergen's come out and unbelievable, unbelievable scenes. 2 0, come on. Oh, good start. Oh, what the. How have we got through? I don't know. Enketia comes in, makes it 3 0, posting in. I oh, thought we were going to miss them, but it's 3 0. Unbelievable. What the hell is going on? Man City just let me in somehow so quick then. Um, I'm not really sure how they did, to be fair. But Enketia could be my starting man instead of Dakar. 
Um, even though Dak was my top goal scorer in the last season, but Enketa's proven as he's coming on as a sub, he's proven my main man at the moment. He's just getting behind so well, and that is it. So, but it is three 0 and yeah, yes, Man City. I don't know how three 0 up, but somehow I've just got in. I don't know how. It's three 0 There you go, Community Shield winners. What the hell? Uh, Funny enough, the crowd, the crowd didn't really go crazy, to be fair, but beat Man City 3-0, I don't know how, uh, we played just much more better football, the first half was a bit difficult, but they've done really well, Man City, they're, you know, they're, possession wise, they, I think, I'm going to guess they finished top of us um, in terms of possession, but yeah, what a result, I mean honestly, what a result, 3-0, um, I mean I don't know what else to say, I really don't, just somehow we can beat them, but can't beat Wolfsburg, it's crazy how football works, eh? <laughs> Um, but yeah, I just stuck to my plan when I got the ball, played it a bit more, and play around, and yeah, just me just blabbing on. But either way, Community Shield winners, that's a good start to the season. So as you see here, um, doesn't look great for Man City. I mean, they only had, they had five shots free on target, not that many. We had quite a bit more, um, and obviously they also had 57% more possessions. They had way more on the ball, um, but just it was, it was actually hard to take the ball from them. It really was. Um, but yeah, so three 0 and that is it, it's a good victory. Okay, so our final game for this video is against Watford. It was our first game of the Premier League, so I can't wait to start this. Let's hope we get a win in this. Let's do this. And uh, yeah, as I keep saying, let's do this and get a win. <laughs> let's get a three points. Wait, uh, oh God, is that off now? No, oh. Okay, we've got a new screen. Um, it's a bit off putting. Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna have to play like this. Oh, that's really off putting. That is so off putting. Um, yeah, I'm not really sure what to say about this. Good ball in. Oh, gone. Oh, sad effect. Jesus Christ. See, so, yeah, I just want to apologise actually with that chance doing there. I just want to apologise for. The, I don't know. It's, it's it's like just stuck for some reason. The the screen thing stuck. Like, I don't know why. It's just some glitch. Okay, one nil to Watford. Um, a thousand percent. If I had to go that high, it's a thousand percent they don't deserve it. Um, I'm not gonna lie. These two little board things. If you can see, I'm gonna guess you can. It's on my TV anyway. But they're they're so off putting. I don't. I can't see where my players are going as such. Um, it's very frustrating. I've been all over them as well. I've had a lot of chances. Just ain't scoring for some reason. But I'm, I'm going to be honest. If, if you know, if I do lose, I can see this being the reason why. I really can. But it's very frustrating right now. All right, first game of the season. You know what I'm going to say. You know what I'm going to say. I lost because of that. I literally, it, it, I, I swear down. I swear down my life. That was so hard to concentrate. It really, really, really hard to concentrate with those boards up. I don't know what it. It's just like some glitch. It's just look. It's still there. Every thing I, I select. It goes there. I mean, it goes when I go on the pause menu, and then blah blah blah, and vice versa. It go back on the game, and then that's it. You know, I'm being so honest, right? I mean, I was all over, man. Let's look at the stats. I mean, look at that. Look at that. Look. See, you're probably going to think, oh, you should be finishing chances. No, 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 no. Those balls would literally, honestly, put me off. They didn't put me off in the middle of the part. It was when I, say, for example, I had this shot here, I had this shot. I didn't see where it went in the end, until they showed the replay or whatever. So. I can't see anything. If I can't see anything, I can't win the game. So that is my excuse slash reason, whatever. It's the same thing. That is, that's a fair enough reason it is. I can't do anything if I can't see anything. So um, I tried. I, I should have easy won, but there you go. First game of the season. Should have been a win. But there you go. Okay, so I'm going to end that video there. Hope you guys, of course, enjoyed. As always, um, I still enjoyed it, but I mean, we lost two games and obviously beat Man City 3-0. Out of all teams, I should have probably lost to Man City, definitely out of all of them, but <laughs> it's the other way around somehow. I don't know how. Um, it is what it is. Um, I can't really say much. If it showed it on screen with the little boards, basically it's like some green boards. I'm going to guess you, you guys can see it. If I can see it, you can see it, surely. Um, it was just the Premier League green boards. I don't know what they are. Um, that was shown. It wouldn't really let me do anything. Um, and yeah, it's just quite frustrating, really. So, yeah, I, I don't know. As I keep saying, it is what it is. Um, just gonna have to accept that and try and get a first win against Arsenal in our next video. Arsenal is our next one, our second game already into the Premier League. We have Arsenal away at the Emirates, so hopefully we can get three points in that. So other than that, um, hope you guys enjoyed the course. Leave a like and subscribe. See you guys 
in the next video. Peace.